Okay, in this video, we're going to calculate nominal GDP for both 2017 and 2018. And we're also going to calculate real GDP, and then we'll wrap it up uh, by calculating the price index. So let's start off with calculating nominal GDP for 2017. Well, essentially, all that is is the price uh, times the quantity of each of the goods that we produced in that year. So start with burgers, and it's just $3 times the 50 burgers, and that's equal to 150 And then we just add that to the Uber rides, and those were $5 times 100 Uber rides, and of course that equals to $500. And then we add that to the movies, which have a price tag of $10 times uh, 12, and that's equal to 120, all right? So let's add these up, right? We've got 150 plus 500, that's 650, plus 120, and so that's equal to 770. All right, great. Now let's calculate uh, nominal GDP for the next year that is 2018. So for 2018, same thing, only it's 2018's quantities times 2018's prices. So it is $4 times 60, and that's equal to 240. And then we're gonna add that to the $6 for the Uber rides times 110, and of course that's equal to 660. And then finally, we're going to add that to the price of the movies, $12, times the number of movies, which is 15, and of course that's equal to $180. And so that comes to, let's see, 240, 660 is 900, 900 and 180, and that is 1,080. Great. <clears throat> well now, what we'd like to know, and I think I added an extra N there that I didn't need, I just need nominal gross domestic product. Um, now what we want to know is real GDP for the year 2018. And the way we go about doing that is we take not the prices in 2018, but only the quantities in 2018, and we multiply them times the prices in 2017. In other words, we use the base year's price. So if we assume that 2017 is our base year, then for the burgers, it would be $3 times 60, right? And of course, that's equal to 180. And then we would add that to the Uber rides. There's 110 of those, but times $5. So $5 times 110 Uber rides, and that's equal to $550. And then add that to the movies. There were 15 of those, but times the base year's prices. So 15, I'm sorry, $10 uh, times 15, and that's equal to 150. And so what does that all equal to? Well, 180 and 550 is 730, and 730 and 150, well, that is 880, okay? All right, now, you'll notice something. Clearly, uh, that real GDP is a lot lower than the nominal GDP, but the explanation for why that's true is because of the fact that we're using the base year's prices. In other words, we, we clean the inflation that took place in 2018 out of those nominal GDP figures to get a more realistic figure. Now, of course, if we want to know what the growth rate was between both countries, the real GDP growth rate, well, first of all, Guess what? It turns out real GDP in 2017 is exactly the same thing as the nominal GDP of 2017. So if we're looking at the growth rate, the growth rate is simply, well, the difference between those two years, the 880 and the 770. And what is that? That's 110 divided by the real GDP in the base year. Remember, it's the same thing, right? And Let's take a look at what that would be using the calculator. So 110, 110 divided by 770, and that equals to 0.14, and of course, multiplied times 100%, so I guess I should have wrote that, multiplied times 100%, and that's equal to about 
2%. And that gives us the real growth rate of GDP between the base year and 2018. All right, that's pretty much it. Until next time.